everybody. Um, I'm in a slightly different location this morning um, and I've interrupted my run to have a bit of a break uh, because I'm in the stunning city of Ypres or Ypres or Wipers as the soldiers in the First World War calls it because they couldn't pronounce the name uh, and I'm currently standing on the ramparts of the beautiful city which right sat bang in the middle of stands the Menin Gate which you can probably see behind me. The Menin Gate is a memorial, I'm sure you know, um, to fit over 56,000 of the soldiers who died during the First World War uh, but have no known grave. And every single night of the year, the road gets closed and the last post gets played by the Belgian Fire Brigade. And that is every single night of the year, Christmas, Christmas night, Easter Sunday, every single night of the year. Uh, yesterday was Anzac Day, uh, so lots of Australian and New Zealand soldiers were here yesterday uh, to take part in the in the memorial last night, which was really moving. But anyway, so I've come out for a run this morning. It's absolutely amazing. I'm here with my dad and my godfather. This will be my fourth trip actually to Belgium and sort of France and a battlefield type trip. Um, I've kind of organised them myself and we've kind of done all, all sorts of. I'm not quite sure what the right word is really, but amazing, awesome, awe-inspiring kind of trips to memorials, cemeteries, um, just dotted around all over the place in Belgium, around Ypres and down into France. It's unbelievable. Um, Ypres itself is a beautiful, beautiful city, worth a visit for anybody. Um, it was completely destroyed during the First World War, completely. It was just flattened. The Cloth Hall, which is kind of the main centre of the city, was destroyed. It was rebuilt by the Germans after the First World War and actually Hitler during the Second World War instructed that it was not touched, not bombed whatsoever. So um, it kind of remains a really lovely place. Um, a battlefield trip is worth, worth, you know, it's worth one trip for everybody actually to come. Um, I mean, me and my dad are big, what's the right word, enthusiasts of the World, of World War I. Um, and I would recommend that anybody who comes and does one trip and if anybody would like any information about that and places to visit then I've got lots of information um, I'm quite happy to share um, because like I say it's just unbelievable um, and also here at Polka Dot Events we have our virtual runs and this just goes to show that you can do one anywhere I'm, I'm out running around the ramparts this morning you can probably hear the church bell ringing in the background it's absolutely lovely before I meet my dad and my godfather to go for breakfast and then today we're off to Plugstraat or Plug Street, as, as the soldiers called it, because um, there's lots of things there um, to commemorate the First World War and the soldiers' lives that were lost. Well, I'm going to get on with my run and let you guys get on with your breakfast. Uh, and yeah, I I will see you all soon with some more of some more maybe some more information of my trip and just a little bit to share it with you all really. So have a happy Thursday, and um, I hope the weather's as nice back in the UK as it is here. And I shall see you all soon. See you.